Welcome back to the channel everyone. In today's video, I want to go over how to use the Bloodborne save editor for PlayStation 4. If you're someone like me who just started playing Bloodborne and you want to mod your save where you want to increase your stamina, your health, or even mod your gems or ruins, this guide is for you. As you guys can see in the background, I'm going to go over to my stats and if you look, I have extremely high health. My stamina says 244, but it's really at 600. If you look at the stats in the background, my stamina exceeds my health. That's how you know that this save is modded. As far as my weapons are concerned, I did mod the gems that I do have on my weapons to make it extremely strong so that I can pretty much kill any monster one hit or I can kill the bosses in a short amount of time. So as you guys can see, I'm going to go up to my workbench just to show you guys what gems I have on my weapon and show you guys the actual stats and then I'll show you guys the actual effects so you can see that I added those gem effects to the gem that I have on my weapon to make it extremely powerful. You guys could do the same thing if you want to or you could do it for all three gems is up to you. You could also increase pretty much any stat you want in the game for your weapon. So if you want to make it really super powerful you could do that as well or if you just want to make it powerful like how I have it you could do that too. Now my gun which is the Evelyn I do have three gems on that as well and pretty much when I hit an enemy it pretty much kills them in one shot and that's pretty much the normal monsters. As far as bosses are concerned I pretty much can stagger them with one hit and then you know hit them up a couple of times and they're done. Then moving on from that I am going to go over to my stories to show you guys that I have items that I did not acquire in game, but I added it to my stories just so that if I want to use it and test it out to see what it does, I could do that as well. Now, as you guys can see in the background as far as my weapons are concerned, like I said, if you want to increase it so that you guys can have similar stats, you can do that as well. This is where I added I think it was like five or six items that I didn't have in game to my actual storage just to test them out. And there you go. Where it says petrified. All of those items I added that to storage. I don't know what it does. I never actually got one in the game, but I'll test it out later. Now, when you go over here to your ruins, this is where I want to point out something. You can go in the save editor and edit your ruin effects. And you will have those effects. There'll be multiple effects. Typically it only has one effect. It will not show here on screen. It'll pretty much just show one effect, but you really would have multiple effects. At this point, I am going to start the process to show you guys real quick how to set everything up in order to use the save editor. So the first thing you want to do is go over to settings and you want to go either on PlayStation 4 or PlayStation 5 and use a save data management and copy your game save onto a USB device. Once that process is done, I highly recommend if you guys have PlayStation Plus to also make a backup copy of your save to your online storage. If you don't have PlayStation Plus, you can also just take the save once you copy it from your USB device and also make a copy onto your computer. Just in case if something goes wrong, you have a copy. So as you guys can see in the background, I am going to copy my game save to my USB device and then at that point once I have a copy of my save I'm going to start the second half of the video which is showing you guys how to edit your game save properly using the Bloodborne save editor with the save wizard and it shouldn't take you guys but a few minutes to get everything up and running as far as editing your game save. Now that I'm on my computer as you guys can see I'm on save wizard. I'm going to select advanced mode on my game save and I'm going to wait for advanced mode to open up. Once it opens, I then would have the ability to export a decrypted copy of my save and save it to my desktop of my computer. So as you guys can see right now, it just opened up and the option to export a decrypted copy of your save is on the right hand side of the screen and it says export to file. Once you click on it, it's going to ask you where would you like to put the decrypted copy of your save. For me, it's on my desktop. Now at this point, you could leave Save Wizard open. Now we're going to go into the Save Editor and hit Open. 
and select the decrypted copy of our game save and everything should load properly as it just did. And at this point, I'm going to go into my inventory just to show you guys that you can pretty much add any item that you did not earn in the game to your inventory. Now, I highly recommend for you guys not to add key items to your inventory until you complete that task in the game and actually get it. If you happen to add a key item that you need to earn in game to your inventory, there's a possibility to corrupt your save. Another feature that you can do with the save editor is go to a weapon in your inventory and replace it with a weapon that you actually want. As you guys can see in the background, I selected the saw cleaver and basically I can then replace that weapon with any weapon in any variation that I want, hit confirm, and that weapon will be in my inventory. Now there's a lot of weapons in the game that I didn't even know came in different variations, but I'm not gonna select anything right now. Now the thing that you can do while you're inside of your inventory is select gems. As you guys can see here, I have five slots where I can add five gems. Typically it's three if I'm correct, and I have three right now. I'm going to add a fourth one right now for the soil cleaver. Just click in the empty box, hit change, and you can select any gem you want. Then once you have that gem, you're gonna click back into that slot, which is the fourth slot, but this time hit edit. And then you can swap out any gem effects that you want for this gem and just hit confirm. And that gem for that weapon would have those effects. Now, you can pick whatever you want for your build so you can make it extremely powerful. Me, I just do mostly damage, mostly a little poison or fire, and call it a day. I'm not going to go through everything. As far as my stats, same thing. I changed my stamina to 600. I hit firm, and now I have that stamina, as well as my life. Now, for my character, same thing. You can change the echoes, insights. You could even do new game plus one, two, three, four, five, whatever you want to do. As long as you hit confirm, it will take an effect. Me, I'm on new game plus one and I'm good to go. Now for your bosses here, I don't mess with this. I'll leave this alone because I don't want to mess up anything on my save. At this point, I'm just going to save my save to my decrypted save and override that. Hit yes. And then what I'm going to do once I'm done with the Bloodborne save editor, is go back on save wizard and this time i'm going to look and hit import file which is going to take the decrypted save and bring it back inside of save wizard and then at this point all i need to do is hit apply it'll do the changes upload everything to my save and then i could take the save go back to my playstation 4 or playstation 5 go to save data management and copy the save back over to my console and I'm good to go. And I could use the save with the modifications that I made. And that's all there is to using the Bloodborne save editor for PlayStation 4 or PlayStation 5. It's really that simple. Most people get stuck on a part of how to decrypt the save. And if you have save wizard, it's pretty much easy to do. If you don't have save wizard, you may have to find another alternative to decrypt your save. Once everything is said and done, you should be good to go and you just rinse and repeat the process. But that's pretty much it for this video, guys. This is how you use the Bloodborne Save Editor properly. If you guys have any comments or questions, please hit me up in the comment box. But as always, I thank you guys for watching my video, supporting my channel, and I will get up with you guys later. Peace.